Dave for lacrosse. From the beautiful Blakefield campus of Loyola High School in Towson, Maryland, just north of Baltimore, welcome to the MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Today's game features the host Loyola Dons versus the visiting Coward Hall Cardinals. Hi everyone, I'm Don Zimmerman, and along with my partner, Hall of Fame coach Bob Schreiber, we're here to call all the action in today's uh, MIAA game. Coach, tell us about uh, this game and what you what could we expect. Well, first off, rivalry day in the MIAA, the last regular week for game of the week for all these teams. This is a rivalry much like uh, Loyola, uh, much like the Army Navy rivalry. Loyola and Calvert Hall play in every sport and every season, and it's a massive rivalry. Calvert Hall comes into this game on a roll, six and three in the conference. They've won four in a row. They're vying for a potential number two or one seed today. Loyola, at four and five in the league, is hoping that they can get a win, get some help, and qualify for the playoffs. These two teams are traditional rivals in every sport, but today we get to enjoy watching them play lacrosse. Solutions that benefit you. And brought to you by MTA, impacting your proud community since 1912. Rehab to perform, your, your physical, physical therapy, therapy and sports, sports rehab, rehab experts. experts. Toyota, for legendary safety and reliability, choose Toyota and let's go places. Charles Village Pub, Towson's favorite pub and rooftop bar. CFG Bank, your success is our business. Driven, air, land, sea. Crabs Lacrosse, Baltimore's best, locally grown and nationally known. And the Five Star App, earn yours. All right, welcome back. Action is already underway. Scores tie is um, no score with 11.03 to go in the first period. Just got started. The Dons are on offense. That's Burnham. Senior attackman. Shot that time. Owen Dixon. Nice look upfield. Calvert Hall's got numbers coming down. They decide to settle it. Shuey Kelly with the ball. Bangs it over to Wyatt Hodder. Hollow carries the ball across. Bangs the ball behind. That's Sunderland. Back out top. This is Nick Steele. Vasily. This is Sunderland. Nice double that time by the Lola Dons. Coming back with numbers. Coach, one thing that uh, Loyola will do, they'll keep some of their defensive personnel down on offense. There's a ball on the field or a busted stick, excuse me, so referees correctly stop play. Loyola keep possession, but they'll keep their Defensive personnel down on the offensive end. They're some of their best offensive players. Senior defenseman Dwan, number 35, and senior defenseman Larkin, number 28, will stay down and play offense, as will sophomore 39, Peter Lake. This is Key, Eric Key, the junior midi. To Burnham. To 
Mason Cook. Back to Key. Just wide. Backed up by the Dons. Number four for Calvert Hall. Defenseman J.K. Kelly got a piece of that shot. Senior captain headed to Cornell University. Uh, I'm not sure what, why that possession changed just then. Calvert Hall's ball, fresh 80 on the shot clock. You have 20 seconds to get the ball over the midline. When the clock hits 60, it has to stay on your offensive half of the field. Calvert Hall coming back in with their second midfield group. Josh Nagy, number 21 with the ball. Provost gets it behind. Ball's transferred out top. Oh, good defense again by the Dons. Great ground ball that time. Larkin will take this thing to the goal. Look at that, Larkin to Lake. Shot by Mason Cook over the top. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 72 seconds. And if you'll notice, 35, Billy Juan stays down on offense, and now he's coming back to the defensive end of the field. He should. He's got eight goals and three assists, 46 ground balls. Tremendous player. Senior headed to Syracuse. I'm hearing Gary Gate is here in the Baltimore area today, scouting some of his future players, Billy being one, and looking for some stars uh, that are in this junior class. Goal. There's a shot and a goal. Owen Dixon, junior attackman, he'll be heading to UNC. Puts Loyola on the board with 7-12 left in the first period. Just an overplay by defenseman Kelly. Dixon planted his right foot, came back to a strong hand, got those hands free and shot that ball low and away for the first goal of the game. Nice play by Dixon. He is Loyola's leading scorer so far this year. Facing off for the Dons, number 33, Cole Myers, senior captain. He'll be going to Hostra. Jackson Strickland, the freshman, for Calvert Hall. Ball's kicked out of bounds by Myers. It'll be Calvert Hall's ball. Boy, we got a veteran crew standing right there next to that ball carrier. Donovan Lewis, number 14 for Calvert Hall, an incredible short stick defensive midi. But there's uh, Scott Rayburn. I see uh, Keith Runk. Can't see on the other side of the field who the third official is. But those two are veterans. Big games call for the best officials. Calvert Hall answers. Number one, Wyatt Hoddle. Puts the Cardinals on the board with 6.40 left in the first period. Just a speed dodge, Hoddle. Don't be fooled by his size. He is incredibly quick and very, very skilled. Just runs down those hash marks. It's just a speed dodge. Pulls his uh, strong right hand back up the field and dumps it past goaltender Bennett Wright, number 13, junior Loyola Netminder. Myers again for the Dons. Strickland. For the Cardinals. Myers moved early on that one possession to Calvert Hall. That is a face off violation on the third violation per half. 30 second penalty. Want to try to avoid that, don't you, coach? Absolutely. Three and a half. And if it happens quickly, let's say before the end of the first quarter, you spend the whole half time, the rest of the half being nervous. Provost trying to get his left hand. This is Sunderland. Shuey Kelly. Shot wide. Great ground ball that time. Good no call. This is Ray. Sunderland likes this matchup. 
Oh, great face dodge. Big save, Benick. Hugged on that pipe, coach, made a beautiful save. Great positioning, that's Bennett Wright, the junior goalkeeper, he'll be going to Mount St. Mary's. Ball's taken away. That's J.K. Kelly. J.K. dropped the ball and then ran over a Loyola player from behind. Push, Don's are gonna keep possession. Yep, that's, a, that's an easy call for the official. Reset the shot clock for 80. Plenty of time for the Dons now to go to work on offense. This is Gunning. Shane Elliott, back to Gunning. Good ball moving by Loyola. Good take that time by Owen Dixon. Nice save by Brady Stangle. Luke McAuliffe with some nice legs there. Up the field, 44, good catch. Evan Huffman, one of the short stick defensive middies, nice play, successful clear. Coward Hall goes back to work on the offensive end. Ryan Botek, the junior. Big rip from the outside. Little attempts to clear the ball. Nice handle. Good pressure applied that time by Jordan Beck. Shot. Just over the top. Looks like there's a flag down. Illegal procedure, 30 second penalty. We'll have a man advantage for up to 30 seconds. We'll be back after this quick break. members only. Being a member means you've joined the Driven family. Change the way you travel with private, safe, reliable, transaction-free transportation handled start to finish by your customer care representative. Enjoy the luxury and convenience of transportation, whether ground, air, or sea. Visit us at DrivenMembers.com. Driven. Members only. Join us at the Charles Village Pub, the original Towson Rooftop Bar, Family owned and operated for over 30 years. Voted the best burger in Towson. Charles Village Pub is a great place to watch sports on any of our 25 HD TVs or the 150 foot projection screen. With private spaces available for happy hour, birthdays, parties, graduations and more. Come enjoy the drink specials and happy hour in Towson at the Charles Village Pub. Join us at the Charles Village Pub. Welcome back. The original Towson Along with Rooftop. Bob Driver, this is Don Zimmerman calling today's game. Score is tied 1-1. One one. 3.33 left in the first period. Loyola has a man-up advantage for up to 30 seconds. Two, three, one set. Expect them to... Move into a different formation. And now they're in their 3-3. Oh, nice look inside and a finish. Great look. Owen Dixon. If we watch this again, you talked about it, Coach Sim, that the uh, 
Loyola rotated into a slightly different formation. 14, Mason Cook started on the outside, worked his way back into the middle. And he just gets his hands free. Look, he's going to replace Dick. Cook's going to go inside and replace number eight. And he gets a nice feed from number 11. Here comes 14. Look at the top of your screen. Gets a nice feed from Berman here on the inside. Catches it and finishes nicely. It's going to be a penalty against the Cardinals with a high hit. This may be non-releasable one minute. Let's see what the refs call. Real nice finish that time on the man up by Mason Cook. Just a sophomore. Let's see if the officials call here. Definitely a foul. Let's see if it's going to be releasable or not. Are they going to targeting, targeting one minute non-releasable penalty? Golden opportunity for Loyola. Did he give him two? He gave him two, coach. Two is minutes. That, is that a rivalry hit there? <laughs> you know, well, I'll the, tell you, you know, the, the, the rules are, are really designed for player safety, and referees have been told you got to watch the head and uh, neck area and they're gonna they're gonna really uh as they did today uh, that's a stiff penalty two minute non-releasable an opportunity for Loyola to get multiple goals again I call that a rivalry hit but even in rivalry they may be a lot of action but you can't do anything that's illegal like that hit was it's a great opportunity as you said for the Dons to stretch out this two to one lead Howard Hall doing a nice job playing with the sticks up in the lane. The key. Oh, good look inside, and what a finish. What an incredible catch by 37 right there. That's Mason Hill, just a sophomore. What a play by Mason Hill. In traffic, watch his feet, it's high. Very hard ball to handle. Berman with his second assist on extra man throws this ball through the defense. Look at that handle. Good defense by the uh, by Calvert Hall. Luke McCall it looked like he had it. Lost the head of his stick, so he couldn't keep playing that one. Got to make sure that screws in. It's one thing if your handle breaks, but if the head of your stick pops off, uh, that that's a problem. You know, it's up to the players to check those sticks and make sure they're ready to go. All right, now this is a um, man up face off for Loyola. Still 120 left on the penalty. Big ground ball. Nice job by Bradley Johnson picking that one up. John will take Walker. sorry. John will take this. Juan will take this to the hoop. Coach Ubriaco could use a timeout to save 10, 15 seconds all in this extra man. Oh. Working. <laughs> on cue. What coach. a shot. You cannot give up on the Loyola defenseman when you think they're going back to play offense. Larkin fake going back to the midline to get on the offensive end and kept coming. Real smart play by the senior captain. He's going to Maryland. Larkin and Juan are their uh, significant scorers. What did you mention? Juan earlier has got eight goals. That's Larkin's sixth of the year with their polls. Uh, they're a tough matchup, those two guys. They certainly are. Big ground ball players. Larkin's got 56 for the season, 46 for Juan. We'll be right back. Summer's here, and with an exciting new Toyota, you can take a trip to the beach, the city, the mountains, the desert, Ooh, the bayou. I think I'm sinking. Definitely sinking. Right now, take low 1.75% APR on a sporty Camry with available all-wheel drive or on a fuel-efficient Corolla hybrid sedan or hatchback. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. The FCA Lacrosse Ministry is for any coach, athlete, or family of the lacrosse community 
who loves the cross and has an openness or desire to grow in his or her faith. FC Lacrosse is committed to developing three-dimensional coaches and athletes who want to fulfill the potential physically, mentally, and spiritually. Are you interested in an FC Lacrosse experience? Get engaged by going to fcalax.com. One forty-seven left in the first period. Forty-three seconds left on the non-releasable two-minute foul against Calvert Hall. Nice job by Hoddle. He seems to be all over the field, helping out there. Thirty seconds left in the penalty. Well, the Dons took advantage of that two-minute non-releasable, scoring two goals, pushed their two-to-one lead to four-to-one. Calvert Hall be contented, just running the rest of this penalty out, be up in a couple seconds, and they'll be able to get their third midi out on the field. Yep, try to stop the bleeding. Those penalties are costly. It's good to be aggressive, but you got to be disciplined. This is Hottie. Lake covering him. Suey Kelly. Sunderland. Good ball movement. Vasily. Sunderland. Good look inside. And what a finish. Great look. And a terrific finish by Jordan Ray, number 45, the senior captain. He'll be going to Georgetown. 38th goal of the year, along with 17 assists. That's a big goal for the Cardinals. Great feed by Truett Sunderland. Ray caught that ball. He looked like he could shoot it right-handed, but he went over his back. Bennett, right goalie for Loyola, was anticipating the overhand right-hand shot. Ray tricked him up a little bit, went over his shoulder. Beautiful tally. Oh, coming right back. Back-to-back -back goals, make it, take it. Well, Coach, you alluded to this face-off situation. Cole Myers had violated twice. When he gets up to the next face-off, he doesn't want to violate again and be down a man, so he's a little late when that whistle blew. Strickland was on top of it, and as so many teams do, they don't slide to these face-off guys. Strickland took it right down the middle of the field to about five yards. Uh, Bennett Wright's got no shot at that one. Got to stop the ball. Going to award the ball to Loyola. If the referees couldn't decide who that possession, uh, who that ball went out on, they would have refaced it. One of the few times you reface in this game. The ball doesn't cross either restraining line. Reface. Twenty two seconds left in the first period. Elliot. Dixon. Cook wants his right hand. Let's it rip just wide as the first quarter expires. Loyola four, the Cardinals three. Game started a little slow, but it picked up. We'll be right back. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor of the legendary sports group MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you.
locally grown, nationally known. Welcome back. Four to three. Loyal at the end of the uh, first quarter. Coach, we've got some updates on uh, scores around the league. All with playoff implications. St. Joe and Spalding tied at two. Boys Latin's beating St. Paul seven to four. And McDonough over Gilman six to nothing right now. All these games have huge playoff implications, as does this one. That's what makes the MIAA Conference such a great league. Such good talent, well-coached teams. Fighting for those playoff spots. Calvert Hall with the ball. Strickland's uh, having a great day at the face-off X. Shot. Save that time. Real nice save by Bennett Wright. Resets the shot clock. Davis Provost here, Coach Zem. He's played both attack and midfield. He's a very talented left-hander. Oh, and it's a nice play by your man, Davis Provost. Davis is just a junior. This is the last year he's eligible to play for Calvert Hall because of, you know, some of the MIA rules. He's going to the University of Pennsylvania. He's got a big left hand. Boy, ah. real nice shot there. Goalie comes off the pipe, maybe anticipating an offside shot. Well placed. Knots it up at four with 11.09 left in the second period. Wow, look at that number. They got Ray with 38 goals out of the midfield. Provost playing his midfield and attack. Uh, that was his, what, 31st goal of the year. These two guys are quality, quality players. Good scrap for the ball. Nice pickup that time. Nice pick up, a simple exchange. The ball didn't come out of uh, Meyer's stick very well. Not unusual for face-off guys whose sticks will tend to bag right after a face-off, and he never had time maybe to pat that bag in his stick out. And it got caught in the uh, throat a little bit and out of bounds. That can be an issue. Good shot by Thomas Strong there, senior midfielder. Bennett Wright did a great job staying on his pipe. Uh, and the attacker stepped in the crease. Loyola gets the ball back. Controlling the ball on offense now. Dixon. To Burnham. Strong left-handed move. Well played on defense. Cook. Elliot. Tough defense that time. Oh, big time ground ball. Coward Hall's pushing it. Oh, a nice backdoor cut. I think that was a pass that kind of got through and uh, chew it Sunderland. Nice play. It's a great feed and a great backdoor cut. Number 36 got a piece of that ball. Lala for the Dons, and, you know, I feel badly for the goaltender right there. That ball just tricked off his teammate's stick and went into the goal. Nothing he could have done about that. But the backdoor cut set that all up. A really nice, nice cut. A 
That was Truett Sunderland with the goal. Calvert Hall coming right back. Oh, just wide. Great face off Calvert Hall. Gave Strick on a rest there. Luke Whalen came in. 33. Nice face off. The momentum is swung. Plenty of time left in the game. Just a simple exchange. It looked like Truett Sunderland just slipped and fell down, and the ball went sailing over his head. This is Larkin's already got a goal. Dangerous between the lines. Larkin and Juan are playing crease attack right now. Calvert Hall's defense is really tightened up. Well, one thing about Calvert Hall, traditionally, Coach, they love to play helter-skelter because they're just going to wear you down physically. They run big numbers at you. They got a lot of athletes, uh, and they do not. This is the style of, uh, of game that they're extremely comfortable playing. Hoddle with the ball out front. We've heard that name plenty of times already. Seems to be all over the field. Royal jumping into his zone here, and I watched Calvert Hall dice up boys' Latin zone a couple weeks ago to the tune of 11 goals. So uh, this is a tall task for the Dons. Ripping it from the outside. That's where the zone wants to give up, that outside shot. Good job by Bennett Wright, seeing it all the way in. Royal will clear. Owen Fisher. Dumps it off. And he'll sub on the midfield line. Mason Hill gives it off. Dixon. Just struggling to exchange the ball and some of that's due Calvert Hall likes to press out on you good rule is to run until you throw and run until you catch against that pressure defense update on the boys Latin St. Paul's game 8 to 6 St. Paul's has made a nice comeback uh, they were down five to nothing early. At that this level, you got to play the full 48 minutes. Brannick. That's going to be a late hit. Great play by defensive Mitty. Short stick defensive midi, Noah Brannick just kept coming and you know, we talk about face off guys who come down the middle of the field. So many people just let them come and come and come. That time they look up there and it's not Jordan Ray coming down at him. Brannick takes the ball right to the goal. That's gonna be a dead ball foul. Ball had already crossed the plane of the goal. Whistle blown, then came the late hit. So uh, Calvert Hall will have a uh, Man up for one minute, and there will be no face-off. They'll take possession of the ball and go to work with their man-up unit. <laughs> Coach, this man-up offense, there's danger everywhere you look. Well, nice play that time. What a big ground ball. Thomas Lala. Great stick by Lala to deflect that Truett Sunderland pass. Lazy pass by Sunderland that time. Wasn't moving his feet and Lala got his stick up in the passing lane. It's a big play. They're looking down the throat of a significant run by the Cardinals. Could have added another one which would have meant they scored the last five out of six goals. 15 left on the penalty. 
Well, we'll just take the air out of the ball until they're all even. Eric Key with the ball. Nice defense by Donovan Lewis, number 14. Terrific athlete, also plays football. Hard shot. Nice save that time by Brady Stangle, just a freshman. Lewis will clear. Well, Calvert Hall has shown some quality depth here today. I don't think Shuey Kelly has a goal yet. Sunderland has an assist, I believe. No goals for him. And there are uh, two of their leading scorers. Jordan Ray does have one tally. Sunderland behind, being played by Larkin. That's a heck of a matchup. Vasily likes his left hand. Another turnover, but again, you know, for you younger players out there watching, just a good rule of thumb. Run until you throw it, run until you catch it. Turn that 20 yard exchange into a 10 yard exchange. Will clearing. Offsides. Loyal went off, coach. Those mental mistakes and the quick restart. Oh, that time, another great job knocking that pass down. Look at Lala handle that pole. It's just crazy how good these guys are. Dwan keeps coming. And a shot and a goal. Bill Dwan, senior captain, heading to Syracuse. <laughs> Real nice counterattack that time. Look at the man all fall in traffic. Look at that. And sticks it in the lower corner. Hands it like handles it like an attack. But we'll be back. Summer is here. And with an exciting new Toyota, you can go climbing, paddleboarding, mountain biking, zip riding, camping. How about napping? Of course. Sorry, I'll keep it down. Buy a Tacoma with the best resale value of any midsize pickup according to Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com or a 4Runner with the best resale value of any off-road SUV according to KBB. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back, Don Zimmerman, along with Bob Shriver here at Loyola High School. 3.20 left in the second period. Coach, Cardinal apparently, six. sorry to interrupt, but apparently uh, on that play, Loyola had called a timeout. The goal was not given. It'll be Loyola possession um, down 6-4 to four and not 6-5. to five. Well, That's one that Coach Ubriaco would like to take back. Really a great play by Bill Dwan. I had the pleasure of coaching uh, Bill Dwan Sr. at Johns Hopkins, and he was a longtime assistant coach at Hopkins as well. Just a tremendous uh, individual. His son plays like he is the son of a coach. Smart. He's got talent, but he's really got a good head on his shoulders. Coach, we've all called timeouts uh, we have. and cost our team goals, but how many times... Have we tried to call a timeout that you don't give, <laughs> that they don't give you and the ball goes in the back oh, of the yeah. goal? It works both ways. Yep. There's a shot just wide. Backed up by Matt Burnham. Referee's asking the crowd to move away from behind the goal. That's that's good advice.
Shot! And a goal at time, a real nice goal. Jack Gunning, the sophomore. Jack's giving them a spark today. He's had a couple of nice opportunities. This one, he just steps down from about, look, about the 18-yard line from the goal line itself. Uh, just got it low and away from goaltender. And put it on target. You know, if it's not on target, it's not going in. There are two aspects to a shot, speed, power. But accuracy is the most important. That's the third violation on Loyola. They'll be down for 30 seconds. And that time they tried uh, Josh Hallam to face off for the Dons. Third violation, it's not an individual, right, Coach? It's a, it's it's a team violation. It's a team violation. Uh, the uh, the face-off man who makes the violation, he serves the penalty. It used to be the in-home. Now it's the face-off man. Man up, moving the ball nicely. Accurate passes. Good pressure that time. That's Lala. Good patience by Calvert Hall. Back to all even. Good stop by the Loyola man down defense unit. Gets a very, very powerful Calvert Hall man up. Provost likes that left hand, big strong athlete. Just a junior, 30 goals, 15 assists for the year coming into this game. Botek. Shuey Kelly will in his own. Nice save that time. Shot clock was winding down, then Shuey Kelly decided to take a shot. It wasn't a good one, but I think that had as much to do with the shot clock down below five. Not, not, uh, no question about it, Coach. Great look. <laughs> if that had gone in <laughs> that time, Coach Ubriaco really might have been upset. It's a good time out. A minute left in the quarter. Give Loyola time to possibly hold this for the last shot and see if they can't get into the halftime all tied up. We'll be back. Join us at the Charles Village Pub, the original Towson rooftop bar. Family owned and operated for over 30 years. Voted the best burger in Towson. Charles Village Pub is a great place to watch sports on any of our 25 HD TVs or the 150-foot projection screen. With private spaces available for happy hour, birthdays, parties, graduations, and more, come enjoy the drink specials and happy hour in Towson at the Charles Village Pub. Locally grown, nationally known. Up here, coach. The shot clock and the game clock are pretty close. There's a little bit, there'll be a little time left on the uh, game clock if uh, Loyola elects to milk this thing down to the last 15, 20 seconds before they go to the goal, and that looks like what they're intent on doing. Yeah, that's a smart play. You don't want to give your opponent a chance to come back with a counterattack and get a goal at the end of the half. 
nor do you want to give them a chance to face off again. They've struggled there, Loyola has, and they've already violated once. Burnham. Elliott. Inside roll. Good job by the Calvert Hall defense. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Well, that's a smart play there. Little air ball eats up some clock. Six seconds left. Let's see if Calvert Hall throws it deep downfield. They might as well take a shot at it. Puts it on target. Oh, good opportunity. That'll do it for the first half. Calvert Hall six, Loyola five. We'll be back with the second half. Stay tuned. Summer's here, and with a great deal on a new Toyota, you can go out and do all the things that make summer, well, summer, like go biking, glamping, pony rides, Mother's Day, scavenger hunt, found it, off-roading, See your dealer today to reserve your new adventure-ready RAV4 or spacious Highlander, now with special 1.75 APR financing to qualified buyers. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Locally grown, nationally known. Join us at the Charles Village Pub, the original Towson rooftop bar. Family owned and operated for over 30 years. Voted the best burger in Towson. Charles Village Pub is a great place to watch sports on any of our 25 HD TVs or the 150 foot projection screen. With private spaces available for happy hour, birthdays, parties, graduations, and more. Come enjoy the drink specials and happy hour in Towson at the Charles Village Pub. Joining us now is Frank Kelly III, CEO of Kelly Benefits. Frank, thanks for being here. You have decided to sponsor the MIA Game of the Week. What made you make this move? Well, Coach Tim, uh, you know our family, we love lacrosse. Kelly Benefits um, is an organization committed to helping the community. You know, we're in the group insurance, benefits, and payroll uh, business, uh, but what we're really about is helping people in the community. We love high school lacrosse, and we're honored to be a part of this Game of the Week. Well, we certainly uh, appreciate you uh, being here and sponsor. We've had a great season so far. Today's special. It is special. And uh, I have a son and two nephews on the Calvert Hall team. I've got a number of kids I've been fortunate to coach through FCA, our club, on the Loyola team. It'll be a great battle against two great teams and great traditions. Just so thankful to be here on a beautiful day to enjoy the great game that we both love. And, again, Kelly Benefits is honored to be the uh, title sponsor for the MIA Game of the Week. Well, thanks so much. It really means a lot to us and to the sport of lacrosse, not only in Baltimore, but nationwide. We have a lot of followers, so thanks again to Kelly Benefits and you You're for welcome. your support. You're very welcome. Thank you. Okay, I think... Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. 
Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor of the legendary sports group, MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. Join us at the Charles Village Pub, the original Towson rooftop bar, family owned and operated for over 30 years, voted the best burger in Towson. Charles Village Pub is a great place to watch sports on any of our 25 HD TVs or the 150 foot projection screen. With private spaces available for happy hour, birthdays, parties, graduations, and more. Come enjoy the drink specials and happy hour in Towson at the Charles Village Pub. The FC Lacrosse Ministry is for any coach, athlete, or family of the lacrosse community who loves lacrosse and has an openness or desire to grow in his or her faith. FC Lacrosse is committed to developing three dimensional coaches and athletes who want to fulfill their potential physically, mentally, and spiritually. Are you interested in an FC Lacrosse experience? Get engaged by going to FCALAX.com. At Driven, we are members only. Being a member means you've joined the Driven family. Change the way you travel with private, safe, reliable, transaction-free transportation handled start to finish by your customer care representative. Enjoy the luxury and convenience of transportation, whether ground, air, or sea. Visit us at DrivenMembers.com. Driven. Members only. Welcome back. With us today is Ryan Hornberg. National Director of FCA Lacrosse. Ryan, welcome. Tell us about FCA Lacrosse. Well, Don, first, thanks for having me. I mean, what an incredible afternoon. Great weather out here, great stadium, great fans, and two incredible teams with Loyola and Calvert Hall. You know, it's exciting to be here just to watch some of the FCA Maryland club guys that have been a part of our program over the years. Guys like, you know, A.J. Larkin and Thomas Lala for Loyola, and guys like, you know, Shuey Kelly and, um, uh, you know, Wyatt Hoddle, they're, they're, they go down the list, there's a ton, you know, on both teams. But, you know, what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop the three-dimensional coach and athlete, not only on the field, but off the field. And it always starts, you know, physically, right? We want these guys to be good lacrosse players. Mentally, we want to develop their minds so they can be leaders in the community. But most importantly is the spiritual foundation. And we see so many guys in the lacrosse world that are great lacrosse players, but they don't know what a spiritual foundation looks like. And so for us to be able to walk alongside them, to explore that with them, not to be perfect in any way, but to see what does it look like for God to be a part of my life and to play this game we all love. I went on the FCA website and I saw the video about the 1992 Vail shootout. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's an incredible year. You know, we get to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Vail lacrosse shootout tournament. And this is also the 30th anniversary of the first ever FCA lacrosse team that was ever assembled. And so back in 1992, Two gentlemen by the name of Dan Britton and Frank Kelly were able to put that team together and it has really set the pace for just numerous teams year after year after year after that. I highly recommend that you watch that video. It's great. We'll be back.
those kids looking to get a challenge and improve their game, uh, learn the discipline, I don't think you're going to find that in many other places than the crafts program. Locally grown, nationally known. All right, we're here at halftime with Coach Brian Kelly of the Calvert Hall Cardinals. Coach, you've been on a roll lately, but early in the season you had a kind of a rough start. Uh, what do you attribute the difference between the beginning and now how well you're playing? I mean, I think part of it is just having so many uh, COVID year and just last year was kind of a different year. I, I don't think our kids knew how to compete in a lot of ways. You know, they were kind of just thinking they could just roll out and play. And then we had some injuries and finally got like Shuey back and that helped. And we are settled in on the goal. We had some goalie issues early on, and that's helped. But I also think the effort and the competitive right, com of the team has been very different. Well, you mentioned your son, Shuey, back uh, after he broke his hand, I believe, was yep. the issue. And he's come back with a flourish. But um, along those lines, you have Shuey playing. He's your third son that's played for you. You yep. have two of your nephews playing. What's it like to have to deal with all that family <laughs> stuff? Well, fortunately, my brothers are pretty good, and their kids are good. I have J.K. Kelly, who's our defender here, starting defender, and he's headed to Cornell. And then Yasu Kelly's a junior. He's my brother David's son who, you know, when he gets his hands free, he can bring it. So we'll see how it goes. Well, obviously, this is a big game that you're in the middle of yeah. right now. Uh, it's playoff. Uh, it's winter. You're done for Loyola, and, and you're buying to hopefully get a bye yeah. in the first round of the playoff. So, uh what do you think about uh, this particular game? Well, I mean, it's a rivalry game, as you know. They're always going to be c extremely tough. I think Loyola's playing really good lacrosse right now, so it's going to be a great fight. Well, thanks so much for being with us, and good luck in the second half. Thank you. Welcome back to the second half between Calvert Hall and Loyola. Calvert Hall up 6-5. to five. Get ready for the second half face-off. Good fight there for the uh, the face off. Le referees are letting them play. Got a flag down. Going to call a hold on that. Strickland showed a lot of strength there, absorbing multiple multiple checks. Here are your halftime stats. Nothing too severe there. Uh, Face-offs, definitely a favorite Calvert Hall that had a little bit to do with Loyola's violations, but the rest of the stats are pretty close. Loyola's three for three for the man up. That jumps out at you. Calvert Hall 0 for two. Calvert Hall be a man up. For up to 30 seconds. Here's the penalty. Good skip pal. Oh, another nice stick. AJ Larkin. Well, all stepped off sides and referee missed it. They got a big break there. It was right in front of the ref. Just missed it. Peter Lake just stepped over about a half a foot and, and caught himself and got back, but he was offside. Boy, Larkin's a heck of a player. I love the way he played with that ground ball. He pushed it over to a space where he could get it. Really effective. This is Gunning out top. Being played by Lewis. Gunning. Good defense by Lewis. Again, plays football. Tremendous athletes right here on this field. Multi sports athletes. College coaches are looking for them. This is Cook. Nice poke check that time by McAuliffe. Clock's ticking, coach. 
Ten seconds, Ten seconds on, the, on shot. the shot clock. Yep. Burnham. Shot clock violation. Ball awarded Calvert Hall. Good defense that time. Well, it really didn't get off a quality shot there. Lewis with the clear. Coach, we got a few updates on these other important games. McDonough's handling Gilman eight to two. Boys Latin had a five to nothing lead on St. Paul's and are now losing 12 to nine with about four minutes left in the third quarter. And Mount St. Joe has now fallen behind Spalding nine to three. Uh, huge games. The only other game of consequence besides the one we're watching now is the St. Mary's Severin game tonight at 6.30 down in Annapolis. Crunch time for these teams. Just wide. Shot taken by Wyatt Hoddle. 32 left on the shot clock. Shuey Kelly. This is Sunderland. Oh, great over the head check that time. First time ground ball by Thomas Lala. We've called out his name on several occasions. The stick skills of the loyal uh, defenseman is uh, very impressive. Very impressive. This is Burnham. Little two-man game with Cook. Cook shoots wide. Real nice defense that time. By Jordan Beck, the senior. He's going to Syracuse. That's another guy Coach Gates here to watch today. Cook is, is undersized. That uh, He's just a sophomore. He's not the biggest young man, and he gets overpowered physically as he did on that last possession, but he's got tremendous skills. Gunning, nice save that time by Brady Stangle. Gunning's uh, had a nice game offensively. He scored that nice goal from about 18 yards. That was a good, sh a good uh, shot and nice save by Stangle. Another 60 seconds on this shot clock. Another reason to put your shots on target. We have a final. Archbishop Spalding 12, Mount St. Joe 5. Here comes Calvert Hall on the counterattack. They've got numbers. Great look inside. Over the top. Well, Dixon got the ball taken away from him there. Dixon's a really good shooter. He's not an incredibly gifted dodger, but he's a gifted shooter. He scored the first goal in this game. That time he got caught not moving his feet quite as uh, much as he should, and Kelly went right over his head with a beautiful check. Ray. Oh, good defense that time by Peter Lake. Sunderland looking for a pick. Good left-handed drive. Hits the pipe. Here comes Loyola on the counter. They do have numbers. Just wide. Uh, Dixon had a chance there. That's what he's very good at, a room and time shot. He just sh shot that ball a little wide. He wanted it. He wants that one over again. Cook on the restart. Dixon. A little behind the backer. Nice save. Scramble around the crease. Real nice look upfield. This is Johnson. And he cans it. Bradley Johnson. 
gives the Cardinals a two goal lead with 6-12 left in the third period. Johnson, the senior Marquette committee, he's like, hey, you Loyola guys are pretty good with the ball. I can, uh, I can do just as well. Look at him absorb this check. Good outlet pass by goaltender Stengel. Here comes Johnson, good roll dodge. Gets his hands free, buried that low and away from Bennett, right goaltender for the Dons. Calvert Hall pushes out a two goal lead. 6-12 left in the third period. Big face off win that time by Cole Myers. Senior captain going to Hofstra. Mason Hall. Loyola working the two-man game out front. Calvert Hall continues to play really good individual team defense. There's a nice save and a follow-up shot. Terrific play that time by Ethan White, number 15, he's a senior. Another broken stick. White right there to take advantage of the opportunity. We'll be back. 7-6, Calvert Hall. back Don Zimmerman and Bob Shriver coach we got some standings here well right now boys Latin's on the short end of a 12 to 9 deficit right now to St. Paul's St. Paul's wins this game uh, I believe that's going to put them into the playoffs at 6 and 4 McDonough it looks like they're going to beat Gilman they'll end up 6 and 4 Calvert Hall Spalding uh, Spalding They've already given them the win today over Mount St. Joe. They're up pretty comfortably later in the game. Uh, Calvert Hall and Spalding would be tied, but Calvert Hall would jump ahead of Spalding if that was the case because they beat Spalding head-to-head. -head. That was a 12-5 final, Coach, and uh, so that's an accurate count there. And I tell you, at this point in the season, every obviously every game counts, but uh, every play counts. Yeah, you know, you you, you think you, you've worked hard since uh, what lacrosse practice for these high schools in the MIA started right after President's Day, uh, somewhere, you know, the latter part of February. They've been going at it pretty hard for, you know, two and a half months now. And, you know, for some of these teams, it's their last game of the season. But those that are vying for playoff and playoff position, uh, like you said, every ground ball, every pass, Every save, every pipe shot, you know, has major implications. Ball pops out. Oh, a real nice job that time with the ground ball and the look up field. That was Noah Brannick. Another flag, slow whistle here. That's the third face-off guy Calvert Hall has used today. Ben Cuomo, number 39, just a freshman, made a really nice play. Once he got possession of that ball, as he was getting squeezed, he just threw it on the ground oh. over to Shuey Kelly. 
He drew a penalty, and now Calvert Hall is going to be able to go on the extra man. That was Thomas Strong, number 24 for Calvert Hall. Good, strong, right-handed drive. Misses the cage. Got to limit those penalties. You don't want to spend the time in the penalty box and put your team at a disadvantage. One minute penalty. Coach Zimmerman, I think the third member of this refing crew is Jason Parks. Uh, you're talking about three major Division I officials doing this game. That's right. Well, these are big games. Obviously. Oh, real nice job that time by Peter Lake. He's been all over the field. Showing Walter clearing. No flag. Oil is being double teamed. 23 seconds left on the penalty. Oh, that's a nice job. Vasily gets the ground ball. Passes ahead to McAuliffe. Oh, good interception. Again, Peter Lake all over the field. Good anticipation on that interception. I'm very impressed with the uh, long sticks for Loyola. They've had a great game. Uh, what impresses me, we talked about earlier, their stick skills, but they're beautiful players when the ball's on the ground. It's all about the ground balls. Possession means everything in this sport. You talk about it all the time, Coach. Uh, what is it, first chance First grounders. time ground balls. Yep. First time ground balls. Get it, get it off the carpet and then Look to move it. Don't hold it into your stick. The ball moves faster than any player on the field. Get the ground ball. Move it ahead. Just a simple exchange not executed by Loyola there. Uh, that's a bad turnover. Let's see if they uh, – another flag down. The Dons are guilty of being offsides. Penalties are really hurting them. Can't have the mental mistakes. This is Ray. Another flag. Look like a pretty good check. I think that we're going to see a, we have an offsides and possibly a hold on this play, coach. Let's see what he calls. I don't know about that one, but, uh, you know, you can't argue with the official. Loyola now will be two men down for 30 seconds. Loyola has dodged a boatload of these extra mans. The Cardinals are 0 for so far. Um, They've got too much talent on these extra mans to not be a, a, a little bit more effective. Well, let's see what they can do against uh, two men down here. Good skip. Oh, and there it is. Really nice look and finish by Ryan Botek, the junior. I think, Coach, that might have been Shuey Kelly. Yeah, it was number nine. It looks like number eight from up here in the booth. Nice skip pass by Sunderland through to Kelly. Kelly makes a really nice, effective, watch this, little skip pass right here. Great face dodge by Kelly. Throws it down there. Uh, goal with Tenner's got no chance on that one. Yep, my apologies. Shuey Ke Kelly, captain, going to Georgetown. That's a great look. These penalties in the third period have really hurt the Dons. They're going to call that one, too. That's a push. Push on Larkin. Good call. Got to control your emotions. We have a 
update on the boys Latin St. Paul's game. It's now 12-11 St. Paul's. Waning minutes of the fourth quarter. Vasily out front with Hoddle. Over to Shuey Kelly. Great move. Oh, and a nice save that time by Bennett Wright. Tell you, he's doing a nice job. He'll be heading to Mount St. Mary's. Great handle by Vasily. Beautiful ground ball and a great handle under severe pressure. Ray to Kelly. Waning Sunderland. Minute. Sorry, Coach. Waning minutes of the fourth quarter. The shot clock and the game clock are right about even. Calvert Hall looks like they're going to be content to hold it for the last shot. Smart move. Thirty-five left in the third quarter. Truett Sunderland is the third ranked player in his class in terms of national reputation. He got too antsy there. Oh, that's a nice job. EJ Vasily takes advantage of a loose ball, picks it up first time, like you said, coach, and lets one rip. I don't think Coach Kelly is happy with that feed by Sunderland there. There's too much time on the shot clock. Vasily, though, bailed him out with a nice ground ball and a beautiful shot, low and away. Uh, Bennett Wright really had no chance at that one. Gives Calvert Hall a three goal advantage with 16 seconds left in the third period. Sorry, we got more updates. BL has come back and tied this game at 12, four minutes left out at St. Paul's, about a couple miles from where we're standing right now. Lake again. This is Dwan. That'll wrap it up for the third period. Calvert Hall up nine to six. Penalties hurt the Dons in the third period for sure. We'll be back for the fourth quarter. Stay tuned. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor of the legendary sports group, MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. The FC Lacrosse Ministry is for any coach, athlete, or family of the lacrosse community who loves lacrosse and has an openness or desire to grow in his or her faith. FC Lacrosse is committed to developing three-dimensional coaches and athletes who want to fulfill the potential physically, mentally, and spiritually. Are you interested in an FC Lacrosse experience? Get engaged by going to fcalax.com. Summer is here, and with an exciting new Toyota, you can take a trip to the beach, the city, the mountains, the desert. Ooh. The Bayou. I think I'm sinking. Definitely sinking. Right now, take low 1.75% APR on a sporty Camry with available all-wheel drive or on a fuel-efficient Corolla hybrid sedan or hatchback. Your summer starts here. Toyota. Let's go places.
11 and a half left in the game. Calvert Hall nine, Loyola six. Loyola really hurt themselves in that third period. Spent a lot of time in the penalty box. Another flag down, and it looks like it's going against the Dons. Just talking about how much they've put themselves at a disadvantage with all these penalties. Coach, all year Loyola has been reasonably challenged on the offensive end. Uh, they haven't scored a lot of goals. They've played brilliant defense all year. Um, and then when you put yourself in the eight ball, you know, behind the eight ball with all these penalties, uh, it's really hard for them to overcome. And give Calvert all credit. They haven't been effective on the man up, but they've been effective in all other parts of the game. Ground balls, clearing, playing riding great effectively. Defense. Yeah, and playing great defense. I mean, Loyola had four goals with time left in the first period, so they've really been on a scoring drought pretty much. And, look, you give a team like Calvert Hall that many opportunities to score her they're, they're, on the man up, they're going to get their, their goals. So, again, a uh, little less than 11 minutes left in the, uh, in the game. Three-goal lead for Calvert Hall. Let's see if they can build on that. Shot just wide. 44 seconds left in the shot clock. We didn't see any penalty up on the scoreboard. Uh, so I don't know whether this penalty's up. It must have been a slash, Coach, but they didn't put anything on the scoreboard for us. Well, now they're all even. I say good job by the little man down. Oh, that's a nice shot. Jordan Ray, the senior captain, takes advantage of his hands being free. Just George's really been, lets one rip. George's been relatively quiet. He's their leading midfield scorer. This is a bomb coming out of the sun a little bit. Bennett Wright didn't look like he saw that. Jordan Ray's second goal, putting the Cardinals up by four. Really nice shot. Room and time. And how often do we see a penalty? Loyola did a great job holding off on that penalty all even. And 10 seconds later, the ball's in the back of the cage for the Cardinals. Well, the other thing that all those penalties uh, does is it, it really tires out your defense, both physically and mentally. Got to stay out of the penalty box. Possession to Loyola. 10-20 left in the game. Elliott. Matthew. Oh, here comes Calvert Hall running. Look at this kid just glide. Donovan Lewis, just so smooth, running down the field. Sprinter speed. Again, a multiple sport athlete. Boys Latin St. Paul's game has entered overtime. Oh boy. Based on what we've uh, seen so far today, St. Paul's does need to win this game to stay alive in the playoff hunt. This is Provost. Good defense that time by Schoenwetter. Oh, good double. Real nice double that time. Flag is down. Another free possession for the Cardinals. Boy, the penalties are killing them. This will be a slash. Slashes on Dwan. Calvert Hall will be a man up for up to one minute. Sunderland will start with the ball on the restart. Clock is definitely 
in Calvert Hall's favor at this point. Still want to be aggressive. Nice look inside. Right with the one-on-one -on -one save. This is Brady Nicholas. Dixon. Good job by Calvert Hall getting back. And there's a great shot by Dixon. A much needed goal for Loyola. A man down goal. 24 seconds left on the uh, penalty, but that's a huge goal by number 20, Junior Owen Dixon. Watch Stengel. I think he's coming off the pipe. Actually, he anticipated a low shot there. If he kicks, keeps his stick up in his ear, uh, there's nothing to shoot out there because Dixon had no angle. Stengel dropped his stick. Dixon threw it up over his shoulder. Beautiful play by Owen Dixon. 43rd goal of the year. He'll be attending University of North Carolina. And for you lacrosse fans, Owen's dad, Mark, is a constant on the Big Ten Network as a color commentator for the Big Ten Network. He's got an older brother that goes to Loyola College. His older brother, Matt, just finished his freshman year at Loyola University, excuse me. Now the penalty's up. Let's see if they can hold him off playing six on six. Provost again. Good take. Provost has got good size, and he accelerated that time and got away from the defender. He's also uh, blessed with some nice speed. 33 left on the shot clock. Loyola playing the zone. Oh, a great rip that time. Ryan Hoddle. Ryan Hoddle started the scoring for Calvert Hall, netting their first goal, and here he comes back with number 11. Beautiful high hard shot off stick side on Bennett Wright. From Perfect feed. It's always good to get that ball right where you want it. Builds the confidence on the shooter. Hoddle, he'll be going to Richmond. He's a junior, committed to Richmond. Good answer for the Cardinals. The Spiders, those Richmond Spiders have qualified for the NCAA. Tall task, I think they're uh, opening with Coach, do you know? Um, is it, it, it must be one of the Ivy League teams since they have six in the tournament. How about that? They may be going up to uh, Brown. I think I, Brown, I, Brown's yeah. playing Virginia. I do know yeah. that much. I want to say the Spiders are playing uh, Yale. Or, I'm not sure, Coach. Sorry, that's, that's not good. But we know they're in. That's all that counts at this point. Well, two things have uh, come back. You've, you, you, you've talked quite a bit about how the fouls have come back to hurt Calvert Hall, and they've really, uh, excuse me, to hurt Loyola, and Calvert Hall has done a great job facing off all game. Uh, Boys Latin has just won this game in overtime, 13-12. to 12. Must have been a thriller. Don Petromalo with the game winner. That knocks St. Paul's out of the playoffs. Severn plays St. Mary's tonight to see if they can't fill out the bracket. Nice look. Just wide. <laughs> 20 seconds left on the shot clock. 6.15 left in the game. Calvert Hall up by four. Big ground ball here. Look at these guys on the ground. They're just fun to watch, these Loyola guys. Loyola's Dwan, got big numbers. Dwan and Larkin. There's a nice dump off. Oh, just wide. <laughs> Coach, I apologize. Uh, we actually now have the...
Um, we do have the uh, playoff set in the MIAA conference. We'll be back. Join us at the Charles Village Pub, the original Towson rooftop bar, family owned and operated for over 30 years, voted the best burger in Towson. Charles Village Pub is a great place to watch sports on any of our 25 HD TVs or the 150 foot projection screen. With private spaces available for happy hour, birthdays, parties, graduations, and more. Come enjoy the drink specials and happy hour in Towson at the Charles Village Pub. Welcome back. We've got the five-star player of the game here. Johnson from Calvert Hall showing these tremendous Loyola defensemen that he can take the ball to the rack as well. Beautiful goal by Bradley, Bradley Johnson, excuse me, a junior headed to Marquette University. All started with the outlet pass from Brady Stangle. Just a freshman. I watched him play his very first starting game, Coach Zimmerman, and he was, I would say, nervous in the clearing situations. He's really settled down and done a great job in this game and just gotten better and better every time he's been out there. He's on a four-game winning streak for the Cardinals. If they can hang on here, it'll be five in a row with Brady Stengel in the goal. Kudos to Brady. I tell you, for a freshman, he's really uh, shown a great deal of development and improvement. Kudos to the coaches as well for bringing them along. Long time Calvert Hall alum and Calvert Hall goalie coach Dave Creighton. Uh, give him a lot of credit for the fine job he's done with Brady. Cook. Elliott. Shot by Eric Key. Nice save. And you know, the other thing a freshman in the goal does coach, you know, his team is really rallied around him once they, they inserted him into the lineup with great support and enthusiasm every time he made a nice play and he's made plenty in this five, five uh, looks like a five game winning streak that the Cardinals are, are in. This is the only game left uh, that's of any consequence uh, Calvert Hall can hold on here. They'll root for Severn to beat St. Mary's tonight, and they would flip to the two seed. St. Mary's would go to three if St. Mary's wins that game. They'll be two. Calvert Hall will be three. Boys Latin has secured the one seed. Uh, Spalding will be four. McDonough, five. And Severn will be the sixth seed, even if they lose tonight at five and five. Sunderland. Nice shot and goal. Truett Sunderland. He's heading to Virginia. One thing about Truitt, you know, you, you forget just how brilliant he was as a freshman and sophomore for Calvert Hall. He did not play last year. He tore his ACL, and he's just really, you know, it takes a long time. He's rounded back into form really nicely this year. He's got great feet, great change of direction. Uh, that time was just a speed dodge and a beautiful shot. Knees looking good. Good battle for the face-off. Another freshman coma with a nice win. Called the guy with, with holding the ball from play. He put oh, and that here comes on his a flag. Chest. Here comes a flag. May have gotten a little lip. Well, either that or he didn't put the ball right on the ground. He flipped it away, and maybe he's going to get a... Yup, he's going to get a technical Delay a foul. Delay Good call, coach. For you young players out there, when the whistle blows, if you have the ball, got to drop it. Don't roll it. Don't flip it. Just drop the ball. You know it's going to go against your team. Anticipate that. 
Know the rules. It's very important for players to know the rules of the game. Gives you an advantage. All right, Loyola with the man up. 3.45 left. 12-7, Calvert Hall. Loyola needs to get one and get one quickly. Good look inside. And that's a great job. Great look by Matt Burnham. Burnham. Finding Mason Cook inside. Burnham the Cook, we saw this early in the first quarter. The almost a carbon copy play. This time, watch Cook get open. He just sets up into a nice open spot there. Good feed by Burnham. Calvert Hall a little late getting into the inside. Most defenses are told first things first, cover the inside. Calvert Hall plays a five-man rotation, which means they leave the crease unattended. They don't have, not unattended, but their crease man doesn't have a man on him all times. And when that happens, you got to do exactly what Loyola's doing, move the ball, keep that eye on the inside man. But anyhow, here we go back. Got a flag down. Going to be a slash on Dixon. Just being a little too aggressive, trying to get that ball on the ground. Oh, that could be another one right there. He called it too, Coach. I don't know what he's thinking. Not too good, uh, especially given the fact that not only is his dad a college color commentator, he's also an official. So I don't know whether his dad's going to be too happy about that. We got a final, McDonough 15, Gilman 8. So McDonough will settle in as the five seed and will travel, it looks like, to Archbishop Spalding for a game on Friday. This has turned into a wrestling match. Timeout covered Hall. 224 left, Cardinals 12, Don's 8. We'll be right back. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be the title sponsor of the legendary sports group, MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people technology and solutions to work for you. Calvert Hall 12, Loyola 8. We're trying to figure out the penalty situation here. Looks like uh, Loyola's going to be two men down for 30 seconds. Um, Dixon, Owen Dixon for Loyola. It's got a two-minute penalty um, that's just uh, you know again you know players play hard and uh, you know these kids are young and they'll learn from this but one of the things you have to do is you have to control your emotions Calvert Hall now really uh, obviously in the driver's seat 60 seconds on the shot clock I would imagine they're just going to spread out and play keep away. At least for a, a, a portion of this penalty. Well, they also called a, called a hold, so they're going to be down two men. Losing by four goals, uh, I think this is a task that might just be a little bit too tall for these uh, no. wonderful Loyola polls. Well, now what you have to do is you have to finish strong. Bo both teams have to finish strong. And, um, and, and you know, again, Calvert Hall, uh, I think they played a, a very good game. They got a little, little bit of a slow start. Penalty hurt them early, but they were able to bounce back. But, again, I think the story of this game is Loyola just spent too much time in the penalty box against a quality team like Calvert Hall. That's going to really uh, put you behind the eight ball. Coach Kelly and the Cardinals will be uh, very intent on seeing how St. Mary's and Severn do tonight. Severn can pull off the, uh, most people would call it an upset. Severn beat Calvert, uh, St. Mary's last year at the end of the year. Good take that time. Sunderland knew he was, that defender was going over his head. Peter Lake 
How many times have we said that name? This is Dwan. See if Loyola can get one here at the end. But they're going to be a man down for another 35, 34 seconds. Timeout, Loyola. <laughs> we'll be back for the conclusion of the game right after this. Summer's here, and with a great deal on a new Toyota, you can go out and do all the things that make summer, well, summer, like go biking, glamping, pony rides, Mother's Day, scavenger hunts, found it, off-roading. See your dealer today to reserve your new adventure-ready RAV4 or spacious Highlander. Now with special 1.75 APR financing to qualified buyers. Your summer starts here. Toyo, let's go places. Don Zimmerman here with Bob Shriver. Less than a minute to go in the game. Calvert Hall 12, Loyola 8. Coach, this is a tough time of the year for these teams. Uh, we talked earlier today about it. They've been working hard since middle of February, and obviously they've been working hard in the offseason, lifting weights, getting in great condition for this spring. Yeah, it's always tough when you know your season's come to an end. So be it for Loyola and some of their great seniors, Dwan, A.J. Larkin. Uh, they've just had wonderful careers here. Uh, it's a tough way for them to go out. They've got wonderful futures at the college level. Larkin at Maryland and Juwan up at Syracuse. A lot of good young players coming back for the Dons. They'll learn from this and, uh, you know, they'll build on this for next year. They have a fresh squad team playing for the MIAA Fresh Soft Championship against Boys Latin tomorrow here at Loyola. Their JV is in the, uh, in the playoffs as well. So they certainly got uh, some fine kids coming up through the ranks. Future looks bright. This is Elliott. All right, again, you want to finish strong if you're Loyola. No more penalties. Number 44, 30 Evan seconds. Huffman. It's had a nice game for the Cardinals. They also have some quality young kids coming back, including goaltender Stengel. How good has he played today? I like what Coach Kelly is doing here. They're just going to take the air out of the ball. They're not going to try to run up the score and get another goal. He doesn't need to call a timeout. Let the players figure it out from this point forward. All right, you got to control your emotions again. And that's it. Final score, Calvert Hall 12, Loyola 8. Coach, thoughts? Well, I'm just watching A.J. Larkin bending over there. Uh, the Cardinals uh, kept their poise today in a rivalry game. They had a bad foul early in the game, a two-minute non-releasable that gave Loyola two goals. But then after that, they really maintained wonderful poise. They let Loyola be the aggressor. Uh, and I think, as you alluded to just a couple seconds ago, that that was the biggest factor in this game. Loyola couldn't stay out of the penalty box. Give Calvert Hall a lot of credit for their effort and their determination, but maybe as much as anything for keeping their poise. Right. Again, uh, I agree with everything you said. Here are the updated standings, Coach. Well, there they are. BL, again, will be the first seed. St. Mary's beat Severn tonight. They will be two. If they lose, Calvert Hall would go to two because they beat St. Mary's. Uh, excuse me. They lost to St. Mary's. St. Mary's is a lock for the two spot. My apologies. BL at one, St. Mary's two. Calvert Hall will be three. Spalding four. McDonough five. And Severn will be in the tournament because they... If they lose tonight, they're 5-5, five and five, and they will end up um, beating St. Paul's in that head-to-head -head because they beat St. Paul's head-to-head. -head. So, in the playoffs on Friday, um, Calvert Hall will host um, Severn. Spalding will host McDonough, and the winner of the uh, Spalding-McDonough game will play Boys Latin, and the winner of that Severn-Calvert Hall game will 
play St. Mary's. That's a good job, that's Coach. Right. That's not easy. <laughs> I, I may have messed up, but I think I got that right. Um, there were so many, uh, you know, permutations coming into today. Well, thanks for watching. Final score, 12 to 8, Coach Zimmerman. What a game. Tune in next Tuesday for the first game of the MIAA tournament held in the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium in Annapolis. Face-off for game one is at 5 p.m. For Bob Shriver, I'm Don Zimmerman. Thanks for watching the MIAA game of the week. Once again, the final score, Calvert Hall 12, Loyola 9. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening.